Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Here you see a four terabyte, two and a half inch SSD drive. But this is not the main topic of this video. But I bought this for the main topic. So let's see. So here we have the two and a half inch four terabyte SSD. And this is the main topic of the video. Microtronics was so kind to send me one of their newest models. It's the R58X HDD. So it looks like this is a four gigabytes memory and 32 gigabytes of storage. So it also comes with a remote. Probably is something like a USB dongle. Ah, this is the power supply, and they shipped it with a European connector. this so put it in halfway and then it clicks into place HDMI cable. It's HDMI 2.1 and it comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable so that's probably also handy for a firmware update or installing Linux. And here's two antennas. And that's all the contents of the box. So here we have the device itself, and it comes with keys for the hard drive slot. 
um, because you can put in a hard drive it is a bit higher than the previous model or at least the first model that I got so you can see it's well something like twice as high and let's see we have infrared for the remote there's a reset button usb3 port usb2 port another usb2 port a usb type c port recovery button so that's you need something like um, a needle or uh, a bent paper clip to click it power and these are just ventilation holes this is for the the locking mechanism let's see This is how it opens. So I don't think there are fans inside. These are just ventilation holes. So we have Ethernet. We have HDMI in, two times HDMI out, and the power. And this is for the Wi-Fi antennas. And here we have Display Port. So we can slide in We still have some room here, so perhaps you can also uh, put in double height drives. But uh, Microtronics wasn't really sure, um, so that's why I just went with a standard height. So let's connect HDMI. Interruption. Okay. Plug in the power. Um. So comes standard with Android. So let's see. When we go to files and let's see.
so that's the disadvantage with an SSD that you can't hear it spinning. But Okay, I don't see the hard disk, that's a pity. So I don't see any storage size. Let's try file browser. So there's only local disk. Okay. Well, I'm going to pause it here and investigate some more and see if I can get access to the hard disk. So I think I found it that you need to go to the settings, device preferences and storage. And now it says there is a USB drive connected. So let's just say I set it up as device storage. So we'll let it format. So I think I'll pause it here and I'll come back when it's done. Well, that didn't take too long. <laughs> Actually, quite fast after I paused, it was already done. So let's just say I move the data now and probably since there can't be that much data anyway. And this is interesting. Ah, available 3.8 terabytes. So that's what I wanted to see. So now it says USB drive. So I guess I want to investigate some more um, on how to fill up the hard disk and those kind of things. But the good part is, is that it does recognize the four terabyte drive. So you just need to set it up as USB storage and you can set it up as device storage and not just removable storage. So I have to thank Mikrotronics again for sending this Mikrotronics R58X HDD model for free. And when I've investigated this device some more, then probably I'll make another video. So this is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.